So Maria and Don, Damien's here. <laughs> yeah, you also. And he says he's sorry he didn't get to see you guys. Richard's knocked out from the trip. <laughs> Karen still trucking, but she's uh, Karen looks her eyes. Karen looks like she will fall asleep the minute they get on the freeway. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so nobody's gonna keep Damien's company. Uh, Okay. I am Sorry, me and Why y'all fighting? <laughs> this house is about love, not about fighting. Hey guys. I'm in Jory's truck and it's like super duper tall. I didn't know this truck was taller than the Tahoe. Jory's in the back, Joe's driving, and we went grocery shopping. Getting it done early before the heat comes down because this is going to be the week of triple digit heat. I want to show you something guys. So this is my my pillow that I just bought, right? 50 bucks. This is the medium fill. It's a queen size pillow and it's not made with like sponge it's not made of foam like most pillows it has little particles in it that kind of move around so I was thinking that in theory it would work for my neck issues so let's put this here imagine that my hands are my head right so when I press down when I lay my head down see the pillow goes down and there's no bounce back to hold me up um, if I sleep on my sides left or the right side it feels okay but when I lay on my back I'm still having some issues with neck support. So this is my buckwheat pillow. I told you guys already it's dead because the hulls in there are dead. I need a new one, if anything. But look at this. Look when I put my hand, see? See? It's not going down. It's supporting me. But because these hulls are all kind of dead and broken and stuff, I'm not finding a good spot you know, to dig out my little spot to put my neck and have it work. So this pillow is $35 on Amazon. And Jory has Prime, so I could get the shipping free. This one, if I get the firm fill, I think it might be the same 50 bucks or maybe a little bit more. But I don't know that I want to invest that much money to get the firm when I already know that this worked since 2014. You know what I mean? So I'm not really doing the review yet. I'm just speaking with you guys here at the vlog because I want you to see my thought process. So I already spent $50 out of what I don't have to get this pillow. And the first night I felt like I had a lot of relief. Since then, I only feel relief if I sleep on either side. If I sleep on my back for the most part of the night, whew, when I wake up, there's hell to pay. I feel like my neck has been like in one position planking you know you know what planking is right when you bend your body that certain way and just kind of hold it hold it hold it hold it it's abnormal but i feel like my neck you know was planking all night and when i woke up in the morning it's just like stiff in here stiff back here all into my shoulders are stiff um or is stiff and um, I don't know that this medium fill is doing the job for me, but I don't want to give the my pillow a negative review yet because I feel like it's only fair to like do the firm one. And I really don't have the funds to buy the firm one right now and I'm in a lot of pain, so I might end up buying another one like this. See how small this pillow is, it's so tiny. But I might end up buying a new one like this for 35 bucks and then wait till money's come in and then buy the firm for 50 bucks or a little bit more and then i can do an honest review of the my pillow because i think it's not fair you know to say oh it doesn't work because that first night i did get relief but i think on the first night i slept on either the left or the right side mostly and not on um, not on my back so what do you guys think should i wait and buy the firm one first before i um before i give it my um before i do the review and the pillows won't go to waste because even if i can't use them I can pass them on to Jada and Josh and so on and so on. And Joe could definitely use one of these because he's on the bamboo pillow and that's really hurting him. That foam stuff is hurting him. So I think Joe might like this one better, the medium fill. 
And um, if I end up buying the firm one, then I can always, if that doesn't work for me, I can always pass that to JR Josh. Oh. But if it works for me, I would keep that and this one. But I think I'm gonna have the fine money to invest in one of these again, one of my buckwheat pillows. Because definitely since I got the Vertigo in, when did I get the Vertigo? Like 2014, right, Joe? I think it was way back in 2014 I got the Vertigo because it was for 22 months that I had it and it barely went away February of 2016. So I've been sleeping on this pillow for quite some time now. Anyways, um, as you guys saw, Damien and Richard and their roommate came back from Australia. They were so sad that they didn't get to meet you, Marie. They were like, oh my God, we didn't have enough time to spend in Melbourne or we would have loved to meet Marie. So Richard was like, how did you, how do you know Marie? And I'm like, through YouTube. I said, and Marie has become my sister. And he was just like blown away by that. And he says, I bet we can go to any country we want to go to and you will have somebody there that knows you through YouTube. And I said, you know what? I never thought about it, but it could be true. I definitely know a lot of people from different states in, Calif in, um, in America and from different parts of California and in Belize, of course, and Mexico and Trinidad and Jamaica and St. Vincent. I mean, these are people who have reached out to me, you know, in my inbox. So people are watching from all over the world for sure. That's why I wouldn't, I don't know that I want a cooking show on TV because that would just be like local or maybe national, but it definitely would not be international because it takes a lot for a show to go international. The only reason I would want a show on TV is for TV money <laughs> to get that big chump change, chump change right off the bat. But I really like doing YouTube. I just wish it was more fruitful, you know, for me in the way of AdSense and stuff like that. So my sister was talking to me about something today, something to do with Airbnbs. And no, I wouldn't have an Airbnb here, of course. You know, I don't have the room. Plus, I don't want strangers in my house. But she was talking to me about something else that she was looking into that I'm definitely going to look into and then tell you guys what I found out. So um, I saw Loretta posted just on Loretta. I didn't answer back because I didn't want to bend my neck to deal with the phone. But girl, I'm going to answer you here. You talk about the mooch gone. <laughs> so, let me give you a joke. Tell the kids to close their um, ears. So I was watching the Young Turks and they were talking over the weekend that the mooch's wife filed for divorce because she hates the fact that he was working for Donald Trump because she hates Trump. That's me. I love Joe and everything. But if he went to work for Trump, I would file for divorce immediately. <laughs> Anyways, uh, somebody wrote in the comment at the Young Turks video, Oh, Lord, the mooch has lost his cooch. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. <laughs> so when Joe and I went to the fair, the art fair on Saturday, there was a guy that went by with a shirt. It was a black shirt with the white vinyls, you know, just letters spelled out, text, I guess text spelled out. And it said, surely everybody was in Kung Fu fighting. I was like, oh, my God that shirt <laughs> I want to go make one for myself okay I love that shirt I, I like unique things like that anyways but I, I'm just not into t-shirts y'all I don't like t-shirts I like t-shirt material I just don't like how t-shirt fits you up here with that crew neck like it chokes you off you know so anyways um, we're still um, changing our eating and trying to rope our eating back on the control so today we've had mostly protein and vegetables and some fruit and we're trying not to eat any kind of bad carbs and really trying to rope this thing. I tested Joe's sugar this morning. I didn't like his fasting glucose. It was 108. And you know fasting glucose is supposed to be 100 or less. They really like it 99 or less. And we did have that on control a few months ago, but I've noticed he's been eating a lot of breads and stuff. And I'm like, let's check you. And then I checked his uh, glucose just now and um, it was 126 which these numbers are not horrible, but that's the phase that you get into and you drop into that lull and then pretty soon your sugar's at 300, 400, 500, your A1C is at 6.0, 7.0, 8.0. And so I don't want that for Joe, so I, I am on this, okay? I'm on this. Uh, plus he was already uh, telling me that he wanted to like do something to rope things back under control because he's working hard on his abdominals and he wants to see results and you know like 99% of your abdominal stuff is from eating not from the exercise right so for me i checked my fasting glucose this morning and it was at 89 and um, as long as it doesn't drop below 80 i guess i'm good and just now i checked you know after we had the same type of meal and mine was joe what was mine like 104 mm. 104 something like that right 
but I don't have high sugar. I've never had high sugar. My A1C is like 5.2. I've always been working on trying to get it under five because the doctors will tell you six and less is good. But when I did that, remember that diet that I did where I didn't eat any grains? That doctor said 5.0 or less is better. You know, so I'm trying to get it on the five. So um, I want to check Jada to make sure she's okay. Joshua is always like me. He always has the same blood pressure I have, the same sugar I have. And Jory, well, he's never had trouble with any of those either because Jory roped his eating under control since 2012 when he had like the most severe asthma attack that he's ever had where I thought he was gonna die and yet he didn't want me to call the ambulance and I'm running around screaming. And then finally, I think we found an inhaler because my mom used to get inhalers for him from a friend of hers. That's all we had to do it before we had the ACA, guys. That's why I'm so passionate about this, you know? And the, the inhaler worked, praise God, and we didn't have to rush him in. And he says, that's it. I'm not going to eat poorly anymore. I'm going to exercise. And that day in April, I believe, of 2012, he changed his eating completely. And here we are in 2017. And you'd be hard-pressed to see Jory eating any junk. If, he's, if he eats any junk, he picks a day at a time. He eats what he says he's going to eat, and he walks away from it. You know, he doesn't succumb to his emotions at all so anyways um it's 5 13 in the evening i didn't vlog too much today because i was in too much pain in my neck but i certainly have had my neck crooked on this tv <laughs> watching all this hoopla let me tell you all something i knew the mooch was gonna get canned because he came in there and he screwed over the previous guy i don't like none of these people okay but i'm just watching the jankunu dance he screwed over the previous guy, and he was just like, oh, look at me, I'm the mooch, right? And then he got screwed. God not like ugly, and he has some pretty out there that he not like either. That's how God operates, okay? Now, the general, I don't imagine he's going to stay too long. Not because he's not a good guy, but because he's dealing with Trump. People don't understand that the main common denominator in this thing is Trump. And the general, he's a stickler for rules and chain of command and regulations and stuff. So he, this is not going to fly well with this guy when Trump doesn't listen to what he tells him to do. And this guy's not going to throw his four-star career under the bus because of Trump. He's going to bail like the rest of them. I just wish that when they resign, they would come out and tell us the whole story that's going on in the White House. Just write a book. You know, I, I'm, I'd be in these books reading, you know. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go to the gym. I'm looking forward to it because there's a couple, there are a couple of machines there that I can do that will help me iron out these. It's, you know what it feels like? It's not like a spasming type pain. It's just like here feels like it's stretching. And I know that has to do with, you know, not just the pillow, but the clenching on the jaw. So tomorrow we're going to see what the dentist says. Joe's getting the ice so we could go to the gym. He's putting ice in our water bottle. But I saw a few exercises that I'm supposed to do and I've been doing them like this one. Just pull this muscle forward. Then there's this one that releases the jaw right away. Smile, clench your teeth, and then squeeze in here, and then open your mouth. Let's do it. Clench. Hmm. My God, when you do that, whatever is going off with your TMJ, boom, it's like, oh, thank you, Jesus. You just have to do it a couple of times, and it releases. Then they have one where you have to pull this neck muscle. Pull it, and it's right here where it hurts, you guys. Pull it. All this stuff has to do with your jaw. That's just like, Ugh, like that. Why am I clenching? I don't know, you guys. Of course, I'm on the stress. We're in a new business. We closed that old business. We don't, we're not on our right footing. But you know what? I was under more stress when I was in that old business. You know, so I don't know why I'm clenching. It might be this political thing <laughs> when I clench. That's why I watch Frasier when I'm falling asleep because it soothes me. Unless they bring in that scene where Niles divorced Maris and then he married that stupid Mel's or Mel or whatever. Oh my God, I shut it off when that comes on. I hated it when it was on the first time around and I hate it now in the reruns. I just wanted to go straight from Maris to Daphne, okay? So, and I watch the Golden Girls too. I love the Golden Girls. My uncle Norman, the one that died right before mom died, he used to call the Golden Girls those four old hoes. And whenever, you know, he was visiting in the 1980s, when that show was on, I say, what you watching, Uncle Brother? Well, that's his nickname, Uncle Brother. And then he'll say, um, those four old hoes. I was like, <laughs> it's like that's the golden girls so anyways guys let me go to the gym y'all know today is monday july the 31st right it's the end of the month and july is the seventh month and seven in the bible is the number of completion so whatever you are dealing with it is done just be done with it all right if it's good bad or indifferent it is done 
Tomorrow starts your new season. Tomorrow is the first day of the eighth month and eight is the number of new beginnings in the Bible. And so tomorrow starts your new season. Ever hear that song? It's a new season. It's a new day. A season of power and prosperity. And the prosperity can mean anything. It can mean money. It can mean you, you're prosperous in your health. You're prosperous in love. You know, your family loves you. You love your family. Your kids are acting right. You know, that good stuff. So reach for it. Don't lose faith. Write down. I want you to write down on a piece of paper everything that you need from the Lord. All right? Everything that you need from the Lord, write it down on a piece of paper. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you write 10 things, 5 things, 50 things. It's up to you. You know, when that prophet, God told him to strike the ground with his rod and he was going to win. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember the story. I shouldn't have told the story before looked at, looking it up. But that fool went and struck, and struck the ground like two times or three times. If God come up to me and say, take this rod and strike the ground, strike the ground and I will bless you or let you win or whatever. I'm not striking that ground no one or two times. It's going to be kai, 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 kai. <laughs> Joseph and they're laughing. <laughs> so you write down as many things as you need. Put your needs on one side and put your wants on the other side, okay? He's going to provide all of it. But we want to differentiate our needs from our wants. Like for instance, I want a toilet made of gold. And then I also need food. <laughs> I got that toilet made of gold from Austin Powers. <laughs> Did you guys see... Um, the new what what is showing angel the one that austin um huh gong the gong show did you see the gong show the guy um tommy maitland or matlin or something or i think it's maitland you know that's mike myers right the one that does austin powers that's one of his characters and i kept saying joe why does he act kind of like austin powers and then the kids came out down the hallway and they're like oh my god that's mike myers that's one of his characters he can't fool me <laughs> it's so funny though yeah so anyways guys we're at the gym and we'll go in here and get this workout done okay let's see if we can find parking if you hear a lot of noise it's because the ac is on full blast because it's hot look it look it look at that gym jam and look it look it that's joseph josie wills say hello quickly because the battery is dying hello people so Joshua, you wouldn't have liked it at the gym today because everybody and their mama was on the bikes, on, on the stairs. stairs. Mm -hmm. Everybody was on the bikes too. It took me like forever. I need my stairs. It's what makes me feel satisfied at the end of the workout, you know? I think I want to end up buying one of my pillows though, my buckwheat pillows, uh, to replace that old one because um, the machines help me. The two machines that help me when I go to the gym is the one where you pull down like this, okay. but I put it like 15 pounds, and the one where you push down like that, and I do like 15 pounds. Okay. And it really eases all this tension that's in here. Hmm. So, um, what's the wrap up for today about the mooch? What are you uh, getting so close to me for? Back up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go work for the person that you were, that. That your wife hates? <laughs> yes, because in 11 days you'll lose everything. <laughs> The wife filed for divorce. He got fired before he got hired. He really like, did. You know why they fired him, right? Why? Because he came and he outshined Trump with his nastiness. <laughs> Nobody's going to outshine. And what is poor Huckabee Sanders going to do? Shrek. What is Shrek going to do? There's going to be nobody there to grab her. Did you see how he dropped his hand in between her crotch? Ooh, why? And they took a picture. And that's, that's probably the most touch that woman has had in a while. Ooh. Even though I know she's married. <laughs> Respect yourself, bro. You can't stand those stupid Christians. And I'm a Christian, but I'm not that type of Christian. Okay? Right? You're not, you're not a crazy fanatic Christian. You're, yeah. I don't care what you is, we can be friends Christian, you know? Yeah, I, mean? I love everybody. Right? Look, I poked my finger today, Josh, to check my blood, and it got all bruised. Did it did it did See, it kind of hurt when I poked it. She's like a delicate china doll. I'm telling you. And, and I'm definitely princess on the pee. That's why all those little pillows hurt me right now. <laughs> So I'm like, oh my goodness. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, I could show this thing better. Show Let's it. Let's see. Okay. Let, me, let me spread something. I don't want to get this. Yeah, I hear you. You don't know who'd be touching them watermelons before you bought it. It's like, Zasla. <laughs> Y'all, we're going to test these pillows. This is the My Pillow. Okay, My Pillow. Test and then this is my head. 
<laughs> Although my head is not as heavy as this watermelon. Mom's got a big heavy head. Okay. You see it, Josh? Get yeah. it from this angle. Right. So as it didn't go see, totally flat though, right? But it is sinking in quite you a bit. You can see it sinking in though, right? Imagine that's my head. So I need like the support for my neck. Let's see this dude right here, Josh. Get it from the top first. Mm -hmm. Damn, no give. No give at all, huh? Nothing. Man, I need my pillow. She needs to buy buckwheat pillow. And I saw one was $85. I said, what? No, no, no. I paid $35 for this one. $85. Uh-uh. This how, lasted me three years. How much did you pay? $35? Yeah, and it lasted me three years. I got to go hunt that down. You know I don't know how to search for things on the phone. So my sister's trying to talk me into signing up for Airbnb to give like an experience to the people who stay at Airbnb. And the experience is to come cook here. <laughs> <laughs> but, but they don't have to sleep here, right? Because an Airbnb no, is supposed no, to be No, no, no. I wouldn't here. be a host. I would just be an experience giver. Okay. That sounds kind of gross. <laughs> it really does. It sounds that, shady. That would be the experience. They would learn to cook, like, a, you know, whatever dish they want to learn. Mm. And then they would also um, be on the show. That's the experience. Mm. I was like, hey, I ain't saying no because I don't want to cater. <laughs> Let's try it again, Josh. Yeah. Do I have to crouch again? My knees can't take it. No, you don't have to crouch. See? But you know what? I'm gonna give this some credit though because it's not like flat to the ground, but still. It yeah, it still has some some some. Maybe the firm one would work, but I can't afford no fifty dollars. I could afford thirty five, but no fifty dollars. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and thumbs up the video if you like what you see. Be sure to comment because I look forward to your comments. And if I don't text you back right now, not comment, but text you back, is because I'm trying to get over this neck ache. All right, I'm trying to get rid rid of this pain in my neck. Not joke, but this pain in my neck. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. <laughs> night, everybody. When the red button is on? Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, see, I'm doing it. This is very, very He's, He doesn't want to go back on the boat. Splash. Splash? Yeah.